Hi, this is Laura Chappell and welcome to this short video on detecting DNS retransmissions in a trace file. Now I'm going to open up this trace file. It's called sec-getsplendid.pcapng. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a brand new profile because what I will be doing is customizing Wireshark to help find DNS retransmissions. So in the bottom right hand corner, there's the column that says profile default. I'm going to right mouse click on that column and choose new. And for this video, I'm going to call this DNS troubleshooting. And then I'll click OK. Now this font is way too small to work with. So up on the main toolbar, I'm going to click the plus to increase our fonts. The very last icon we'll simply reorganize those columns, spread out those columns. And I'm going to get rid of the packet bytes pane from view. We don't need that for this. So what I want to do is I want to first of all build a filter that would detect a DNS retransmission. And then after that I will build a coloring rule and then I'll finish this up by building a button that will detect DNS retransmissions. In this trace file, we can see at the start we have a DNS query going out looking for this ASDF, 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 ASDF.com. We see a response come back. We see another query going out for ASDF, ASDF, blah, 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 again. So we see another DNS query going out. I'm going to expand the DNS section down in the bottom portion uh, where we have our packet details window. Now what we're going to look for is whether this is a retransmission inside this trace file. These are not marked as retransmissions. But I'll put in a quick filter for just DNS and apply this. And you'll notice that later in the trace file you can see some DNS retransmissions visibly. Frame number 21 uses transaction ID D154. And we can see in frame 28 there's a D154. 154 up in frame number three there's a D154 so we have a number of retransmissions in there I can see those if you click on let's say frame 21 and you look inside of uh, the packet details window notice down here in the bottom in the DNS section there's a line that says retransmitted re request original request in three that's the hyperlink to the original request but right below that notice that it says in brackets retransmission true and remember in Wireshark when you put anything in brackets it means that it's an interpretation if you look down on the status bar you will see the syntax for that field it is simply DNS dot retransmission now I'm going to right mouse click on that retransmission true line and I'm going to choose apply as filter selected Essentially, I'm telling Wireshark to show me only DNS retransmissions that occur in this trace file. There are 79 DNS retransmissions in this trace file. I didn't count that number. I looked down at the status bar, and the status bar will always tell you the number of packets that match a filter. Now I'm going to turn this into a coloring rule. You may notice that all these DNS packets are colored with this light blue coloring. And the reason for that is listed in the frame section in each of those packets. All these DNS packets match the UDP coloring rule. There is no coloring rule for just DNS traffic. So I'm going to build a brand new coloring rule based on this filter. I just tested it out. I'm going to go to View, Coloring Rules, and enter my coloring rule here. Now I want to show you a different way you could do this. Let's say you didn't want to test out your filter first. You can go down to the line in which you're interested, right mouse click on it, go to colorize with filter, and avoid color 1 through 10 because those are temporary coloring rules. And then you can just select new coloring rule. Wireshark will automatically build a new coloring rule based on that field and that field value. So now it just put this information in for me. I don't have to type it and I like that because my typing is terrible usually. 
I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call it DNS retransmissions. And I'm going to leave this at the top of my coloring rules list because packets are processed in order through this list. I don't want to put it at the bottom because then all these packets would still be colored light blue because they'd match the UDP coloring rule. So I'm going to leave any error or security coloring rules up at the top here. I'm going to change the background color of this coloring rule. I just clicked on the coloring rule and down at the bottom I'm going to choose background. Most problems are are defined as a black background coloring rule with a black background I should say. So I'm going to choose a black background say OK. Now I can't see my black text on my black background so I need to click on the very first button in here which sets the foreground color. Now if you did this in the opposite order or if I had done it in the opposite order you wouldn't have seen these blanks here sorry. So I'm going to choose this vibrant blue as the text color and say OK. Now I can see what these packets should look like when this coloring rule is applied. I'm going to say OK. We can already see that the coloring rule is applied to all of these except for the one that I'm highlighting right here. I'm going to get rid of my filter. And now we can see wherever those uh, retransmissions appear, they're shown in the trace file. They're so visible to me I would not miss them. Now if this is a problem you hit a lot of times when you're analyzing your trace files, you would want to have a button that you could just click on to say, oh, do I have that DNS retransmission problem again? So I'm going to turn this filter now into a button. In Wireshark we can bring back the last filters we applied, the last 10 filters we applied by clicking the down arrow to the right of the display filter area. There's my DNS.retransmission equal sign equal sign one filter. Now to turn it into a button I'm going to go again to the far right hand side of the display filter area and I'm going to click on the plus. Wireshark opens up the display filter button area and I can now put in a label which is going to be simply called DNS retrans. That's what I'm going to call my button that I create. To finish this up, I will click OK. So now let's say I open up a trace file and I wonder, do I have that DNS retransmissions problem? And it's a huge trace file. I don't just see them easily and I'm certainly not going to scroll through. If I want to detect DNS retransmissions, I'll just click on the button and there we are.